This buffet cost me $5. I'm gonna strip it back and flip it and see how much we can sell it for. And for this entire week, I'm gonna be buying, flipping and selling as many pieces of furniture as I can, to see how much money we can make. Now this challenge is unlike any other furniture flipping challenge I've seen. And that's because I've gone all in. I've quit my job and for this week, I need to make money on this furniture. This isn't a side hustle, but this is a main source of income for this week. So every dollar counts. I'm investing a bit of money into this project to start with. And I went out and bought a brand new sand the Sazito sander and it was a crazy good deal for $35 I got the sander and it also came with 20 sanding pads being so cheap I'm worried it's gonna break down so I also bought 20 pads for my DeWalt sander and that cost me $24 just for the pads I'm actually quite happy with the sander we're gonna keep using the sander then and I'm gonna sand everything externally getting it ready to paint I think I've come up with the perfect idea for this buffet. I want to paint it a dark color, a dark navy blue, dark gray, something along those lines. And the reason I'm going dark is I want to get these old handles, clean them up and really make them shine and contrast against the piece. Oh shit. I should have thought this through. I'm, it's too late now. I'm going to add the second one. I've already committed. On the bright side, this paste texture, it's definitely worked. It's looking how it should. So I've scrubbed all of them, there's not a massive improvement, but I'm just gonna leave them soaking with that paste and hopefully after a bit of time, they may start being a little bit cleaner. This is a primer we're gonna use, uh, Torbens, Torbmans, Tub, Tubmans. Man, I've got no idea how to pronounce that. Read me in the comments for it. But I've got about half a tin of this. It was left over from a previous job. So we'll, I'll find out how much a tin costs and we'll add on half a tin to the value of this project. All right, it's 10 past four right now, it's 12 degrees. It's probably not a good time to start painting, but our goal is to get as many pieces of furniture done in one week. So we're just gonna go as quick as we can. The white's actually looking really good. I'm kind of contemplating if we should just actually paint this whole thing white. We're about to lose light and it's getting really cold right now. I, I felt the temperature just drop a couple degrees. Spending $42 for the dolly to move this around. It's probably the best idea I've had yet. All right, we're done. <sighs> We've done the coat of primer. I'm actually pretty worried about this paint. It's, it doesn't look like it's gonna dry. This could be a bad idea, but I've got this Euroblade heater. This could actually be really smart. I can feel the heat on my face bouncing off the door and coming back onto me. This is definitely not designed for this and I'm really nervous I'm gonna burn myself. Oh, I just burnt my hand. I'm so relieved, all the paints actually dried perfectly. If we have a look at places, you can see some places it's a bit more heavy and other places we can see the existing timber kind of showing through. That's fine though, we're gonna hit it with a dark charcoal gray color. So those dark patches will get completely covered when we hit it with a coat of paint. All right, so the paint's called Canyon Black. I paid about $80 for this one tin. Ooh. This could be a big problem. I, I really, really don't like this color. I think we either needed something darker or lighter. This is just right in the middle of just the ugly zone. I've spent $80 on it. I, I, we have to use it. It doesn't even look like I'm painting. The reflection of the light. Have a look at this. That's what it looks like. It's still very wet, but I reckon since I actually did that coat, it's been about 10 minutes and it's, it's became a little bit darker. It's a bit rough, we still have to do a second coat, but I think this colour might actually work. Alright, the first coat is done and I've changed my mind. I'm really happy with how this is looking. But for now, we're just going to wait for it to dry. Let's jump on and start our second piece of furniture. And from the same warehouse, I'm selling everything for $5. I picked up this table and another buffet the same time. It is actually filled with problems. It's got wheels on the bottom. They don't move at all. So this is proper timber, so I'm gonna go with a 60 grit, and we're gonna give it a really harsh sand and get rid of all the stain that's on the top. That absolutely sucks. I think sanding has to be my least favorite job ever. I completely underestimated how long that's gonna take. I don't even know if we're gonna make money on this piece anymore. That was about an hour to sand. I'm calling it, I'm gonna have smoke, eh? 
sit down for a bit because this is taking it out of me and start staining this after lunch. We're almost ready to stain this table. We've, I've definitely lost money on this. I spent about two hours trying to sand it. Now we've got multiple coats of stain to put on it. It's not great. I don't think we're gonna sell it for much. For now, I just want to get this completed and done so we can get back to proper projects that I think will make money. I've got no experience at all with this. Looks all right though, it looks, it looks dark. Oh, we're just gonna work straight out of the tin. Right now we're getting the same effect we had when we are painting the art buffet set. And that's with the camera, we got the sun coming in this way and this looks really white, glary and washed out. In low light it's looking awesome and it's just because it's wet and still sealing right now. Once it's actually set, it should look a lot better even in this direct sunlight. All right, I've got some good news now after wasting a few hours with that table. I mean, I say wasting, we might get a little bit of coin for it, but we do have good news. I just went and picked up two bedside tables. They cost me $20 for both of them. And I'll show you in a second. I'm just gonna run out. We'll, we'll do the second coat on this buffet set and then we'll get those drawers underway. It's good to take a break from sanding. I'm actually quite a big fan of painting. It's quite therapeutic just seeing the color go on for about a minute and then your wrist hurts, your back hurts, your board. And it's the same thing as sanding. I've actually got no idea how much I'm gonna sell this for yet, what it's worth. Drop a comment down below how much you think I should sell this for or how much you would pay for this. Regardless of what I figure out the price to be, I'm gonna put it up for a higher margin and hope someone buys it. If no one buys it, I just drop the price and, and then I really hope someone buys it. Uh, jumping back to these brass handles, they've been soaking in the vinegar for ages. Honestly, they don't look a lot better. I'm gonna rinse them off with water, make sure they're nice and clean, and then we'll polish them and hopefully this works. Let's just pour some of this brass so in here. I'm so confused. I thought that was gonna work wonders. This is really not good. I was, I was praying on these to come out okay. These were meant to like bring out the entire piece. That's why I painted it a dark color. I don't know what to do. I thought the bicarb and vinegar and the brasso together was gonna just make it work a treat. It looks exactly the same. I'm calling day two done. I'm gonna pack up the tools and do some research into how we can fix these. See you tomorrow. Let's do this, day three. Now, these brass handles, these brass handles have let me down. I've just left it overnight soaking. Let's give them a polish, but I don't think anything's really happened. That's really disappointing. There's there's no difference. It's almost as if the places that already had a bit of that goldy color coming through, they just look a little bit more sparkly. They're a bit more vibrant, but all those dark, dirty areas, they've stayed the same. I think we got two options on what we do. I'm not gonna put them back on with how they're looking right now. It's just gonna ruin the whole piece. So option one is getting some type of metal paint. I don't know how this is gonna go, but I think we get metal paint and try and make it actually look metallic. Option two is we just buy new hardware. And the reason that's a hard option is when I painted these doors, I didn't putty up the existing holes. So we'll have to find something that either goes perfectly into those holes or at least covers the holes. On a brighter note though, this table is actually looking really good. We'll just give this a second coat for now. At least we can start the day with something productive and feel good about ourselves. Second coat is done on the table. But before we sell this table, I want to take the wheels off. That's going to make it look a lot less tacky and we might get a little bit more money for it. Before we do that though, we're already at negative $300. So let's quickly make our first sale. It's actually not missing a door, it's designed just to have two doors like that. The problem with this is if I was gonna paint the face of it, you're still gonna see the inside. So I kind of have to paint everything for it to look uniform or not painted at all. I'm thinking maybe this is one we just put up and sell as it is right now. Paid $5 for it. If we sell it for $50, that's 45 bucks profit. Not doing a thing. This is the first time I've ever listed anything on Facebook Marketplace. We're gonna do $80. I don't think it'll sell for 80. But if we put it for 80 and then drop it down to 50 later, I'm still not gonna be mad. All right, let's post it. <laughs> Out of curiosity, I just wanna put these on and see what it's gonna look like, but I'm still in the mindset that we have to replace these. Damn, I think they look really good. I think we need to use these. The option is paint them or find a different method to clean them. I've left those handles on that piece for about 30 minutes and walking out and seeing them there again. I like them, they've really grown on me. 
I think that piece is almost done. I just need to get some magnetic closes. The doors keep swinging open. Um, and while we're out, I'm gonna be out and about. We're gonna pick up a bunch of things. I found a dresser on Facebook Marketplace going for free. It's about a half an hour drive away, but for free, I've gotta pick it up. So I've also scouted out handles for the dresser and they cost $1 per handle. All right, that was a successful bit of shopping. All right, so we've got some hardware to finish this off. It's just something that will keep the doors shut and actually stay shut. And I've, I've fallen into it. We're gonna keep this how it is now. I'm gonna keep the hardware the same. I'm not gonna paint it. I do need to clean it just a little bit, screw it on, and then that piece will be done. For the table, the table that's been giving me absolute grief. We just have these square adjustable legs and I'm just gonna cut off those wheels at the bottom of it, the disgusting wheels, and we'll put these more modern. They look a little bit better, they're $6 each, and we'll put those on there. We've got ourselves our next item. We've got a six drawer dresser here. And the best part is this was completely free. So this whole morning, I definitely haven't worked as hard. I've been off and on working and I spent the whole time on Marketplace trying to find good deals. I found three bits of furniture that were completely free. Picked one up, the other two went before I could pick them up. This is definitely gonna be the next project though. I wanna work on some of the bigger items that I think will make money before we jump onto those dresses that I've talked about yesterday. The handles too are what I think is gonna make a lot of money. How you doing? All right, he's scratched that a little bit too. We'll definitely have to sand this back. I wanna keep the top a natural timber look, but these are the handles we're gonna use. And the best thing about these is I got three packs from Kmart, and for two, it costs $2. It's that time again, the worst part of furniture flipping. So since our hardware has two screws, we can't use that existing hole in the drawers. So before I start priming this, I'm gonna get putty and we're just gonna fill up and sand back all these holes. I'm thinking for this piece, we'll use the same stain we used for that table on the top here and we'll keep the timber look on the top. For the rest of it, the sides and in between all the drawers, we're going to paint it, well for now we're going to prime it white and then I'll show you what colour we've chosen, which I, I am a bit nervous about. And I've had about six or seven messages about picking this up already, I haven't responded to anyone and that was for $80, I, I should have put the price up. Alright, it's 5pm, the sun's going down, it's, it's quite dark out here. We're going to try apply the first coat of paint on top of those drawers. I'm a bit concerned about painting right now before it gets cold. Tonight isn't gonna to be as cold as Monday night, the first night. I don't think it's gonna go past 10 degrees, but you'll notice when I'm painting, I'm gonna go really light. You'll see some streaks of white seeping through. I'm not worried about that. I want a light coat of paint, and when we do the second coat, it'll cover all of that up and make it look good. I, I've just finished a coat of paint, and I decided I'm gonna step up on tomorrow. I've got the same stain and varnish that we used for the table. There's still half a tin left over. We, we'll still do one more coat on the table, but I'm gonna stain and varnish the top of this dresser. I might need a torch for this. I can't even see in there. There we go. Tomorrow morning, we can sand this back. Second coat of stain, second coat of paint. This thing's gonna be done just in a couple of hours tomorrow. That's good. I've made a massive mistake. I'm not happy with my choice of color. The greeny, tealy color, it does not work. But the Jara stain just doesn't work with it. It looked a lot better when the top was lighter. And I've got two options. I'm either gonna take this stain off, restain it something a little bit more whitey, lighter and washed out, or I'm gonna repaint this, which would mean I have to buy more paint and waste the money I spent on this. Before I focus on that problem, I did find another piece of furniture on Marketplace, completely free, so I'm gonna pick that up and see how it is. I'm not actually too sure what this type of furniture is called, but looking at the condition of this, I can't believe we got it for free. This is definitely something we're just gonna chuck straight up onto Marketplace. Since the other piece had so many bids straight away at $80, I'm gonna go even higher with this. This is a better piece than that one anyway. It looks great. I think we're gonna start at 200 to 250, and I'm happy to bring it down in time after we start at that price. For now, I think it's finally time to start on these drawers, these little bedside tables. <laughs> I think we're 
we're done with sanding. Now it's the same process we've seen so many times. I'm gonna clean everything. And apart from these tops here, we're just gonna hit everything with a primer. All right, so I've picked up some timber stripper. Costly mistake, I'm kicking myself for doing this. It's 4 p.m. on the Thursday, so I'm getting into that crunch zone where I just need to get stuff done and get furniture out. There we go. I wasn't expecting that, it's like a gooey paste. This is not good. Actually, this is really good. I didn't think it worked. That, that actually worked. This is just a mess now. And it's dripped over the work. We've got patches where we're gonna have to repaint completely. I can't obviously restain or varnish this right now. It's either paint on top of it or sand it back again. And now this is such a problem because this piece is getting expensive. The starters, I regret the color. I think I'm not gonna sell it for much anyway. But now I spent $50 to try to remove the top. It didn't work, so now we're going to have to spend more time, more money. This piece here could have cost us a week. I thought that table was going to do it. I love that table now compared to this piece. Friday morning, I didn't realise how sore my body would be after sanding and painting all week. Today's going to be a big day. I've got all this last day stress, just trying to get everything done. On top of that, now we've got a crap ton of birds. And I swear to God, if one of them craps, on our freshly done paint. Sweet, so that first coat is all done on this piece now. We'll leave that to dry. And now we're back to this headache of a piece. I think I would have made money or saved money if I did use this as firewood. So before I can give it a second coat of paint, I am gonna go through and re-sand the top. But in a last minute attempt last night to make a little bit more money, I bought one final piece of Facebook Marketplace. This set of drawers, it cost me $40 and it's already painted, the top's done. All I have to do is add some handles onto this. It's a bit awkward to open. We'll sort out hardware later today. Right now, we're just gonna sand, paint, varnish, do all that stuff. All right, the second coat is done on those white drawers. I've moved them out of the way. Now I'm just gonna get ready to get that second coat of paint on those green drawers. The one giving me a headache. Uh, I've got a tin of liming white. I think that's what it says. The paint kind of covers the word. But I'm going to apply this on top of all three of these pieces and I'm hoping it actually looks good this time and we don't waste this bit of furniture for the second time or the third time. We've had so many mistakes with this. Obviously, this is something I've used before and it worked all right last time. So I'm hoping that it hasn't gone off or anything. I hope it works okay again. That's kind of what I want, that look in the middle there. You can see the effect though, we've got the white washed out look and we've got that natural timber seeping through. I'm hoping it dries and when it actually sets it might dissolve in a little bit and we might see a bit more timber. As I got more practice, they did start looking a lot better. That mostly looks how I intended it to be. So let's put some hardware on this and also those white drawers and let's start having a look at the pieces we made. It's a crazy few hours right now trying to finish everything off. But to finish off these bedside tables, I've got the screws that were already in these, but they're just a little bit too long to use with our new handles. But I can easily cut them down and then we can screw on our new $1 handles which I think look a lot better. So here is the final product of the set of drawers that we've done. I think I'm pushing my luck a little bit here, but I'm gonna list these as a set and sell them for $200. With those drawers on the market, I'm gonna quickly put the handles on every other piece of furniture, finish everything up, and now let's go through, have a look at what we've done and make some prices to sell them at. This is probably the riskiest piece. I think it's very niche and you need a certain type of person to buy this. Because of that, I'm a bit nervous, but I'm still gonna go up on every single price. And we're gonna start by listing this at $250. I made a mistake. That was the most popular piece that I made. I could have got so much more than 250, but it is sold for 250. I put it on market and it had 20 or 30 people interested in two days. Anyway, this is a piece we got for free. I spent about 10 minutes putting some handles on it and these handles were a dollar each. So we spent $4 on this. I'm gonna start at $100, list it at 100. Hopefully that sells. If not, I'm not worried if it goes a bit cheaper. This is my favorite one to flip. Hopefully it's gonna be my favorite one to sell too. Once again, I think I'm pushing it, 
but I'm gonna try to sell this one at $350. And obviously we still got this thing here, buffet, drawer, slider, whatever you wanna call it. This is already up on Marketplace at $200. Haven't even touched that, so this is gonna be all profit. I'm just gonna to cut to the chase and show you how much money we made. I don't even know if it's still here because I, I, I think I've already spent some of it. So I did sell those blue drawers for $250. I believe I could have got more, but I am surprised it did sell for $250. My pride and joy, this big buffet, was $50 more at $300. If those blue drawers sold for $250, that buffet should have been listed for a little bit more too. I sold the two bedside tables together for a combined price of $200 and the single set of drawers sold for $100. The table that I spent so much time on has really let me dry and I've got a singular $50 for that and I was just happy to get that out of here. And I don't have any loose change on me, but at the start of the video, we did sell that sliding buffet thing for $70. Meaning that I sold everything for a total of $1,120. Obviously that price drops down to close to $700 when I look at everything I bought for this process. It's not a good income for a week's worth of work, but what I do have now is all the leftover paint, sandpaper, everything I need to be able to do this for a passive side income on the weekends, and it should be all profit.